In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily create a multiple bar graph just like this one by using Microsoft Excel. I'll also show you how to add a clean data table directly under the graph containing the data values. As always, I'd really appreciate it if you like the video if you find it useful and leave me a comment below if you get stuck. Now let's dive into Excel and get started. I've got some example data already entered into my sheet. What this data is, is the average monthly temperatures in degrees Celsius in London and New York City, according to the climatedata.org website. In the first row, I have the different months listed. Under this are the average temperatures for both London and then New York. Then in the far left column, I have the labels for each city. So to create the multiple bar graph, I will highlight all of my data, including the labels. Then I will go to insert, then in the chart section at the top, I will select the column chart icon, then select 2D column. A multiple bar graph has now been created. Here you can see the different months on the X axis and the temperature values on the Y axis. Each series in the data, London and New York City in this case, are plotted as different colored bars. If you would prefer to switch the row and column data on your graph, with the graph selected, go to chart design and then select the switch row slash column button. Now, in this case, each month's data is classed as a different series instead of the different cities. I will select the button again to switch back to my original graph. So as you can see, I have two series of data here. The first series is the data for London, which are the blue bars, and the second series is the data for New York, which are the orange bars. Each series is also presented in the figure legend at the bottom. This is basically to tell the reader what colour bars represent what data. Instead of having my figure legend at the bottom, I will move it to the right of my graph. To do this easily, I will select the graph and then go to Chart Design, Add Chart Element, Legend, and I will select the right option. Another thing that you may wish to do is to change the colour of the bars that represent each series. To do this, simply select a bar in the series that you want to change. I want to change the colour of the New York series, so I'll select an orange bar. It's very important that you only select the bar once, as this will select all of the bars for that series. If I click on the bar again, notice that only that single bar is selected. So be sure to only click once on the bar to select that series. Then, to change the colour, go to Format and use the Shape Fill Tools option to adjust the colour. I will change this series to red. Another thing that you may wish to do is to plot the data labels for each bar on the graph itself. To do this, with the graph selected, go to Chart Design, Add Chart Element, Data Labels, and then select an appropriate location from the list. I'll try the Outside End option. Now you can see the actual data values are included above each bar. However, this looks rather messy, especially around two bars that are close together. So I'm going to remove these by clicking on them and pressing delete on my keyboard. And instead, I'm going to insert a data table. To insert a data table with the graph selected, go to chart design, add chart element, and then select data table. Here you'll find two versions, with or without legend keys. I will select the with legend keys option. Now you can see a data table has been added under the graph, which presents the data in a more convenient way than having the values being plotted above the boxes. And because I have the legend key in this data table, I can remove my separate figure legend on the right by selecting it and pressing delete on my keyboard. Another thing that you may wish to do is to adjust the thickness and the overlap of the bars in the graph. To do this, right click on any bar in the chart and select Format Data Series. You should see the Format Data Series sidebar has now been opened to the right. In the first option, Series Overlap, you can use the slider to adjust the overlap between your data series. So moving the slider to the left will cause the bars for London and New York, in my example, to separate out more. And the opposite is true if I move the slider to the right. For the Gap Width option below, you can use this slider to separate out the bars. For example, if I move the slider to the left, the width is reduced between the different months. This makes the bars appear thicker. And the opposite is true if I move the slider to the right. And finally, before I finish, I will delete my graph title by selecting it and pressing delete on my keyboard. And I will also add a Y axis title by selecting the graph and then going to chart design, 
add chart element, axes titles, and then selecting primary vertical. I will rename the axes average temperature in degrees Celsius. And there we have it, the final finished product. Now you know how to make a multiple bar graph in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.